so coming on to the topic of motion control we have studies of uh, what uh, sliding friction kinetic friction stiction and so on here they haven't made that difference so it's just one coefficient of friction so like the image shows shows you the force that the conveyor so the conveyor is moving in this direction to the left mm. so conveyor is going in this direction and it's accelerating right mm. and to prevent slippage that means the a belt equals a box v belt oh. equals v box as well but the acceleration is what is relevant to us here if they have different velocities then it means there is a relative velocity between the two surfaces which equals to slippage we don't want that and if velocities are equal for them to remain equal the accelerations have to be equal so that's what we have here a belt equals a box normal reaction is uh, mg and coefficient of friction is mu Mm. mu mg equals ma so a equals mu g so this is the maximum acceleration the belt can have such that the box doesn't slip any acceleration greater than that the box will start slipping max acceleration so th this is the answer a equals mu g that's the maximum acceleration allowed so that it doesn't slip and what about the upper one the top yes, one yes so now uh, there is uh, one more case or like different kind of thing where we are looking at top link this is a little bit more complex mm -hmm. so again it's going in the same direction to the left as shown by the direction of the roller mm. so let us look at it from the frame of the box right if you are familiar with different frames of reference in physics you will know that when you change your frame to an accelerating frame basically it means it feels as if the rest of the world is accelerating in the other direction so if i am stationary or even at constant velocity if i am sitting in a car the the other environment appears to be going by but it's at constant velocity but if i accelerate then it feels if i forget about the car and if i just look at the environment it feels as if the environment is accelerating in the in the other direction because mm. i am going forward but i am not thinking about that i am looking at the environment and it seems as if the world is accelerating in the other direction for me same story here so frame of the box so this thing is called pseudo force which is acting in this direction because the frame is going in this direction the belt or the box is going in this direction mg is still the same nothing has changed i am not accelerating vertically therefore moving left now let us do vector summation right of mg and ma then i get a net vector let us say this is f total if this f total is outside the base of the box when you draw it correctly to scale you don't have to draw it but if i drew it correctly and to scale and if this, if this f total is outside the base of the box then it means there is a net torque about the center of mass and it will topple so the limiting case for us is when the total force is in this direction this is the mg that's the ma what we are and uh, we are doing this analysis around the center of mass the center of mass or the centroid is the position where the pseudo force acts now let us do a little bit geometry h and b are given i want to draw a rectangle shapes yes we will have tangent tangent alpha is equals to 
tangent alpha yes but uh, i just want to show the derivation one so this is the center point h by 2 b by 2 what is alpha oh. okay this angle is alpha tan alpha equals b by 2 by h by 2 so b over h and this is the limiting case already and this b over h is equal to so b this side is where i drew the ma and here is where i drew the mg is equal to a over g this is the limiting case yes the a can be less than that such that uh, the effective is only here if this acceleration is smaller but that is still even closer to the like a middle point of the base so that's even more stable so in this case the centroid is at the center itself but sometimes he can bias the box such that the centroid centroid is not at the center just be careful of that so in this case it's uh, symmetric so a limit equals b by h times g and we know h is greater than b h is greater than b therefore b by h less than 1 and a limit is less than g as expected here we are not thinking about slipping case right uh -huh. because it can happen that the box will topple before it starts slipping then the the limiting case is the toppling if a limit here less than a no slip a limit because after that the box will fall down is the max allowed acceleration so this is how you solve but basically it's about this triangle and you have b by 2 h by 2 and along b by 2 you have ma and along h by 2 you have mg alpha is the same for both triangles so i can equate them and i get this okay i guess that should be clear